What's up everyone, Justin from JT Apple here and today I'm here to do a gaming test on the new Apple iPod Touch 5th generation. So the three games I will be testing are Asphalt 7 The Heat, which is a full screen game that has been optimized for the 4 inch display. I'll be testing a very famous graphic intensive game, Infinity Blade 2. You guys have probably heard of that game, as well as Temple Run, which has also been scaled for the iPod Touch and iPhone 5 4 inch display. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a test of Asphalt 7 The Heat. So we're just going to select a random race here. We're pretty much here just to test how the graphics perform, whether there's a lag or not or anything. You shouldn't expect it as this new iPod Touch 5th generation has a dual core A5 processor as seen on the iPhone 4S and a 7x graphics improvement compared to the iPod Touch 4th generation. So I'm going to skip ahead here. Um, sorry about my gaming skills. I'm pretty much doing this behind the tripod so it won't be as easy as a game is to play um, in person. So you did see a little bit of stutter there in the beginning. But overall, everything seems to perform very smoothly. I'm pretty happy with it right now. The iPhone 5 one is pretty much flawless, but that has the A6 processor. But by no means is this any worse. I think this is perfect. And yes, I'm an Asian driver, so um, don't be too surprised by that crash. Yeah, so just driving around here. And overall, the game does perform very similarly as to the iPhone 5. I'm very, very happy with it. Apart from that small stutter in the beginning, this game has performed very well. The app itself loads very, very fast. And I'm going to go ahead and in a few moments switch over to Infinity Blade 2, which is probably one of the more graphic-intensive games. And we'll also be doing some comparisons with the iPod Touch 4th generation in terms of app loading times and everything. So just let me go around here. And now let's go ahead and test out Infinity Blade 2. So here's Infinity Blade 2. This is one of the more graphic intensive games. It hasn't actually been optimized for the 4 inch display, but we're still going to go ahead and test it out. This is a game that has a lot of, lot of detail, so be aware of that and let me know what you guys think about this. So let's just go head on with the gameplay here. I've actually almost never played this game before, maybe just once or twice. But main idea is just to let you guys see the detail. You can also see how fast this stuff loads. Have an idea for that. And let's just go on and face the next enemy. And there you go. So let me know what you guys think about this game. Let's go ahead and skip up to Temple Run. So the last game we're going to test is Temple Run. This game isn't really a graphic intensive game, but I just want to show you guys what it's like on the iPhone or iPod Touch 5th generation and its new 4 inch display. Just hit play there. And there you go. So I know some people, some of my friends who are legends at Temple Run said they weren't really used to the larger display, but I have to say it's pretty nice. Um, the game looks much better scaled in my opinion, much more easier to play. So let me know what you guys think about this gaming test, guys. I will be doing some more comparisons between this and the iPod Touch 4th generation. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.